children. Hello, Mommy Pastor. Welcome to Sunday School. Today's topic is Jesus Heals a Paralytic. This story is taken from Mark 2, 1 to 12. Let's begin lesson 37. When the crowd heard that Jesus had come home, they crowded inside the house. There was no room left, not even outside the door. Jesus preached the word of God to the crowd. Four men carried a paralytic man to see Jesus. Since they could not get to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof and lowered the man to Jesus. When Jesus saw their fate, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Some of the teachers of the law didn't realize that Jesus was God's son. They thought only God could forgive sins. Jesus knew what the teachers of the law were thinking. Jesus said to them, Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up, take your mat, and walk. Jesus wanted to show the paralytics that he had the authority to forgive sins. So Jesus told the paralytic man, Get up, take your mat, and go home. For more details, please read Mark 2, 1 to 12 in the Bible. Jesus, he's a paralytic. Hello there, and welcome to Question Time. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Question number one. Why were there so many people in the house? There were so many people in the house because they heard that Jesus had come back home and they wanted to listen to him preach God's words to them. Yes. I would have been there too. Would you have been there too? Yes! That's right. Don't miss out on things like that. Amen. <laughs> Question number two. What did the paralytic's friends do? His friends removed the roof covering so they could lower the paralytic down to Jesus for immediate healing. Right. Those are some awesome friends, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yes. Yeah. I would love to have friends like that too. Right? They're cool, huh? <laughs> Great job, you guys. Question number three. What did Jesus say to the paralytic? At first, Jesus said, Son, your sins are forgiven. Then lastly, he said, Get up, take your mat, and go home. Absolutely. Because he had all authority, correct? Yes! Very, very good. You paying attention. I love it. Yes! Question number four. Why do you think some of the teachers of the law were upset? I guess they had wished they were the ones performing those miracles. Okay. All right. I'll accept that. Can I have another? Some of the teachers of the law were upset because they were envious of Jesus' popularity. Okay, I agree. Okay, let me have some more. Maybe they were upset because they knew they'll soon be out of job and become broke if Jesus kept <laughs> teaching and healing people. <laughs> you are hilarious. Very, very funny. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> All right, let me have one more. Maybe because in their own understanding, Jesus was blaspheming, trying to be like God. Okay, if you say so. I, I guess I can agree. <laughs> I have a big question mark around that. All right, mm. <laughs> All right. Okay. that wraps it up for our Q&A session. It is now time for games and activities. activities. I'll see you 
and you and all of you on the other side. Bye! Bye. Hello there. You are in the activity room. Here's your challenge. Unscramble the message. You did it! Yes! Let's review today's memory verse. Okay, let's remove some words. Time's up. Great job. Come on, kids. It's time to bring the Word of God to life. Are you ready? Yes. Let's take a look at Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Say, Lord Jesus, according to your word, you said you will restore my health, and you will heal my wounds. I declare restoration of your mighty word into my body to heal me now in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and decree that I am restored, I am healed, and I am cleansed. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. There you have it. The word of God comes to life in you. Go in love and obedience in Jesus' name. What was today's story about? What did you learn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Anything else? Great job! What does today's memory verse mean to you?
great. You paid attention. We are so proud of you, and you should be too. Yay! Coming. Hello, Miss Olalu. Good day, Mommy Pasta. How have you been? I'm fine. How are you? Great. I'm good. Glad to know you're doing fine too. I dropped your mails in the mailbox already. I just had to stop by to say hello. You're welcome, you. man. this week. Yes, you guessed right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. May you celebrate many glorious years to come in Jesus' name. All right, children, that concludes our lesson for today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for teaching us today. Thank you for all the listening ears and hearts you touched. May your words continue to be engraved in our hearts. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, that is it for today. Now, don't forget to share this story with a friend. All right? Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.